Want to generate stunning AI images fast, even on low-spec PCs? Welcome! Today we'll master Quen image generation with the GGUF model and Lightning LoRa along with an upscaler and comfy UI. So let's get this party started! Before generating images, make sure your system is ready. First, you need Comfy UI installed, which can be run locally on Windows or via a cloud GPU. Links to installation guides are available in the description for quick access. Second, ensure that Comfy UI is updated to maintain compatibility with the Quen GGUF models. Make sure to also check out our written article, which covers how to update Comfy UI correctly. The next step is to download the Quen model files and place them in the correct folders. All the necessary files and download links are listed in our written article, so make sure to check that out. A visual of the Comfy UI model's folder structure will be shown on screen for reference. Once all files are downloaded and correctly placed, you're ready to move on. Next, visit our written article and download the Quen text to image GGUF Lightning LoRa and upscale workflow JSON file and drag it into the Comfy UI canvas. This will automatically load all the nodes and connections for Quen GGUF. All nodes should be properly linked, and if any are missing, use the node manager in the Comfy UI front end to update or add the required custom nodes. Now that the Quen GGUF workflow is loaded into Comfy UI, it's time to configure the settings for optimal image generation. Proper setup ensures high quality outputs. In the Unit Loader node, select your downloaded GGUF model and in the Clip node, choose your Quen text encoder and set the type to Quen image. Next, select your downloaded VAE file and within the Power LoRa node, use the Lightning LoRa to speed up rendering, allowing fewer steps in the K Sampler node. After that, set your desired image resolution using the Flux Resolution Calc node for quick and accurate dimensions. Enter a clear and detailed text prompt describing the image you want to generate. Being specific helps produce better results. Then configure the Kzampler nodes. For the base Kzamper, set control after generate to randomize. Steps to 4, CFG to 1, sampler name to Reese multi-step, scheduler to simple, and denoise to 1.00. For the optional upscaler Kzampler, the default value values are already correct, but note that denoise is set to 0.1. Lower values keep the upscaled image closer to the original, while higher values may alter structures or introduce additional noise. Once all nodes and settings are configured, click Run to start image generation. The model really shines when generating images that include text or when creating game character-like designs. Keep in mind though, that if you're aiming for hyper-realistic images, this isn't the ideal model. That said, if you still want to use it for realistic faces, we have a workflow that enhances facial structure to create more detailed and lifelike results. You can check out the article on our website, it's a blazing fast face detailer that will take your images to the next level, so make sure to give it a look. That's it for now. Stay tuned, keep an eye on our website, and don't forget to subscribe and show some love by hitting the like button. See you next time.